Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafting and DIY with Nora. I've got a little cute um, DIY project here that I didn't create. It was from, from Olivia's. I'm going to put the name on the, on the bio. So you go check out how pages. She, ha she does really good stuff. And this particular piece I got from her. So this is a Dollar Tree fence. I had cut, let me make sure, I had cut in three ways, down the middle, let me put it down so you can see it better, and move this out the way, I cut it down the middle, and when I cut that, one half is for the backing of the bench. Let me move all this down the middle. That's for the backing. Now you cut these two right here and those for the sides. I have them cut already so you can see. I haven't been fitting well so I'm going to make this as quick as possible. These are the two for the two sides for the side for each side and that's the backing of the bench. That's a Dollar Tree board I bought. I was supposed to do this for Easter so I can place my bunnies and I didn't. So what I'm gonna do is I have E6000 and the hot glue gun. I'm gonna glue the backing of the fence to the board. You're going to glue that part there. Let's make it, let's get it straight. Oh, and the zip tie. And it's for the sides of the bench. So I can make sure that the fence on both sides are zip, -like, zip tied together. There go my E6000. Gotta get me some, a new one. I have this for a long time. Just, you know, I use the, um, the hot glue gun because um, it adhesive quicker. But with this E6000, it'll hold it in place. There you go. You know, I'm winging this right now, so bear with me. I was supposed to plan it out first, and I didn't. And anything can go possibly wrong, so. Um, use some of that hot glue. And let's pray that um, me sticking this part to the back of the fence. Of course, I didn't had a glue stick out ready. So you know by the time I insert that stick, the other half of the glue that I already added on to that um, piece is dry. I left my Apple computer on my desk because I do remote. I'm working remotely. Okay, so you're going to hold this. And again, wish me luck. Let's hold it on. Hold it for a minute. I'm going to put some flowers on it. 
I have this really cute little bicycle in storage just for floral arrangements and I didn't take it out of storage because I buy so much stuff in clearance and 75% off. Okay, try to hold on to it as much as you can. Not as much as long as you can make sure the deck um the hot glue dries. Alright. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Flop flop. Let's do this again. Nah. I'm telling you. Anything can go wrong. And remove the glue and try this again. If at first you don't succeed, try. Try again. I gotta get me a little drill that um, I can make little holes on little things like this. I have a drill, but this is like a not for this. Okay, let's do this again. Nah. Did it the wrong way, of course. Let's try this again. This is not looking good. Okay, let's see. Nah. I'll be right back. Okay, okay guys, guys, so I took a different technique. What I did was I laid the fence down. I laid the fence flat and just glued it all in this position. And then I I'm added the add board. The size to them now. So I'm going to do the size. Let's see. Very good. Very good. Even though I skipped the little piece there, but it is what it is. And if I okay. still have that, let's do this. E6000. Two sides. Oh, definitely time to buy you. There you go. It's gushing out, so. <laughs> get it, get it. Okay, there you go. Let's close this. And this is where I go wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's do this. Hold it on. I'm going to add zip ties to both sides of the fence, each side to the back of the fence. Of course, I put it in wrong. <laughs> Use my sniffly. Try this again. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add glue here first. This is disaster one on one. Let's see how that goes now. I 
I did a voiceover in this. Hold on to it. Except for like I was just speaking either loud enough, I wasn't okay, making myself set, clear, uh, so. Set aside. Totally wrong. I wasn't supposed to put it out on, on that way. But as soon as I stand it up, then I noticed that I did it wrong. Okay. Oh, let's hope. Let's see. I hate doing sloppy work. And I'm still not realizing that I did it wrong. I'm still adding on glue. Let's see. Let's hold on to this. Yeah, still not realizing. Oh, have I? Nope. And you're going to have to hold on to this until it dries up. The hot glue. I'm just holding it there like, like if I'm doing it right. Take a zip tie. And I add the zip ties. Still not realizing here that it's not I done right. You can see. I zip tie here just to hold it in place. I'm going to lift it up and I'm tie. going to show you it real quick. And again, not noticing that I'm not doing it right. Hello. You know, sometimes you just got to leave Second. things alone. If you're not feeling well. Ooh, okay, let's see. So what I did Wrong. was, with, I joined these two okay. pieces. I start to notice. As you can see, I put zip tie. I'm going to clean up all this glue. I did that it wrong. Got, that I got here. Okay, let me make sure. I'm going to take them out. Oh, no, and I'm, and I'm, uh, and I'm tightening it. Part. I'm still not realizing it. I did it wrong. I'm gonna cry. Here you go. I did it wrong. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Oh, I got it. What happened was I stood it up like this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It was supposed to be like this. As you can see. See? So now, and I didn't do anything big with it. I just took out the glue that's on the side. So let's just go on the other side. And take two ties. Oh, oh. Okay, let's do it one more time.
So what I'm going to do is add two zip, lock, two zip ties. And I'm going to add the zip ties right here. too tight but tight enough there you go that's one and two and here you have it. You have a little bench. So I want sturdiness. So I have this here. That I'm just going to put right underneath. I want something. If I want to put something on top, I won't have a problem. So I decided to add this. See? So let's add some hot glue to this. Let me get everything that's in here out. Wow, it's taking me four minutes to do this. Now let's work this fast. <laughs> now you want the the planter to show because I want to keep the hold up let me bring all this hey you guys and here you have it a little bench. Let me see what color I'm going to spray paint this. Okay, guys, real quick. It's taken me a week. This video was supposed to upload yesterday, on um, last week, but I've been feeling sick and a little under the weather. Um, I spray painted it. This is like a mint green. Uh, again, whatever color. I use what I have here. Um... The spray paint didn't didn't take to these pieces. This is where the, the the label was at, and it was giving me a hard time. So what I'm gonna do is I got a piece of stock car stock, and I'm just gonna glue this here. You can't even tell. You see. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue. I'm going to use Moss Podge. Let me just glue this whole thing on. And here you have it. You can't tell the difference. It's only a little darker, which is better. Uh, I was supposed to do this project for Easter because I wanted somewhere to sit my bunnies at. And I didn't take the time to do it. It was supposed to be last week video, but I was sick. So I didn't get to do it. So it's probably the crab dish. Could have been, should have been, <laughs> but it's done. You see? I'm going to standing up the, the car stock, but that's okay because you're not going to see this. What I should have done was wet the brush with water and then added the mop posh, but I didn't. Again, that's okay. You see? So one of the things I have here, this lace ribbon from another project. 
So I'm gonna, it's the same green, but it looks a little lighter. And so, I'm gonna add it right here. I'm sweating a little bit. I'm still sick. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing the videos because I work remotely and it takes a lot out of me. And these videos take a lot to do also, editing, editing taking pictures, uploading, is a lot, which I really don't have the time and it's stopping me from taking orders also. Should we not be able to just hold it there for a minute? Guys, I got a um a TikTok account, so make sure you follow me. DIY Queen01, I believe. your time. My gosh, thank you. You can also make a crib from this. planning my granddaughter's quinceanero for September. I got to look at a venue I found in Brooklyn. Well, actually, my door's right across the street from where my daughter lives at in Brooklyn. It's a nice spot. And here you have it. Um... I saw someone in a, another in a group do do the the same thing a little longer. We all we all see what everyone's doing, and we all do we do it, but style it differently. You know, they set up the base for it. Base meaning this, this, and how you decor it is up to you. How you make it different is up to you. Don't do it because, oh, they already did it. No. You do it and you do it your style and you bring it out so everybody can see the difference. You can use this as a planter. The different thing, the difference that I did was I added this onto it, which is sturdier. You know, some of them some some of the crafters don't do it. They'll just put I, the one I saw and one of the groups added this. To the bottom so actually I didn't, I didn't see anything in the back so i didn't see like a support system for it real good um and when you do these things you gotta make sure you um you do a su real a support system to this because this is not only a decor piece is you're going to use it you see nice you can put planter artificial flowers it's up to you however you want to do i'm just giving you the base for it on what to do and how you decor is up to you. So I'm gonna look at what my little cubbies have so I can decor this. So when I come back, it'll be decor in pieces that, oh, that I have here, nothing that I bought that I have here. Hey guys, real quick. Am I satisfied the way this came out? Uh, but you live and you learn. You would do it again, but this, this going to stay like this. Okay. Um, added on these pieces here that I did with hot, with the hot glue gun. Let me show you. I have a piece here. I put these together. You see? If you want to learn how to make these with the hot glue gun, 
comment on the the bio of the video and then I'll do a video of this see little bows what happened was I shouldn't have made it this fat this the width is too long for me you know so I sand this front down so you can see. Another thing I did, I did two small planters to put on it. Look how stinking cute this is. Look at this one. There you have it. I'm not sad. I don't know what it's feel like it's missing something like this is my daughter said i should have made a yellow one just to contrast so i might just make something i don't know it is what it is it's gonna stay like this but i like it make sure to comment leave your comments and tell me how do you feel about this piece? It's cute, but I won't be. I have to. I want to do other things besides stuff with Dollar Tree, but because there's so many groups with Dollar Tree, it makes it easier to share. You know, to to get your videos viewed. But um, again. Planter, put the flowers right on top. You know, little something, something here. Thank you guys. Make sure to sh subscribe to my channel, follow, share, comment. Check me out on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and all that good stuff. Next video, I have uh, I have some fl sunflowers there. I bought two boards from Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna do some wall pieces. And after that, I'm gonna see if I wanna continue with this YouTube channel simple as this is it takes me all day it takes me a couple of hours to do a couple of hours and then i'm busy in the morning because i work virtual i'm online from the from eight o'clock in the morning until about two o'clock in the afternoon by the time i finish with the computer i'm like mentally tired on the weekends i just want to rest and when I started crafting, I started crafting more of a, a relaxation and just a form of just calming down, taking my time and doing things. I feel like I'm rushing through these videos, rushing through pieces, which it is not me, but we'll see how this goes. Oh, and I'm on TikTok. <laughs> to make sure and I have a a blog site on Hannah's and Mia's com. so I'm going to reevaluate what I want to do here do I want to keep going with these videos which takes up a lot of time because you know, I have to edit do take pictures and there's only one of me. Thank you, guys.